Okay, ladies and gentlemen, baggage claim. This Irene, my watch stopped working. Hmm, mine too. Yeah, probably passed out from lack of oxygen. Uh, can you tell me how much longer we have until midnight? Even what time it is? How, how long? <sighs> yes, um, how long until midnight? Well, nobody really knows for sure. Nobody, nobody here knows what time it is? Well, innkeeper Fred knows, of course. Thank you for He's the only one? That's right. Hmm. Well, let me ask you this, Miss Clarky Lady. How is anybody at your New Year's Eve party supposed to know when it's midnight? Well, Innkeeper Fred will tell us, of course. Innkeeper Fred will tell us. I well, that's a great. Told you he was legendary. You know Innkeeper Fred? I'm sort of a big fan. Look, 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 great. We all know about this famous innkeeper Fred, how he retailed more hamburgers to the starving children of the world, and how he saved the dinosaurs and killed the whales, whatever. <laughs> Is there anything else we need to know? Yes. Wait right there. Okay, here's a copy of the house rules. Please look them over and sign right there. What's this here? It says there's no breakfast service after midnight. Keep your friends' rules. Well, how can you say there's no breakfast service after midnight? I mean, there'll be breakfast in the morning, right? I mean, this is a bed and breakfast. As far as I know. Listen, sister, where I come from, this is called false advertising. I mean, if you don't serve breakfast after midnight, then this isn't a bed and breakfast at all. No, it's just a bed. And that is uh, very Dad. different. Dad. Any grown-ups talking here than a bed and breakfast, wouldn't you say? Yes, depends on your point of view. Depends on your point of view? Answer me this. Would you stay at a bed and breakfast that only served you breakfast but didn't provide you with a bed? Huh? I think not. Dad, seriously, dude. Dad, Eddie, just please, could you just stop <laughs> Innkeeper Fred needs to bed and breakfast. He can offer you wonderful rest and abundant food. Uh, right, but not after midnight. Dad, that is correct. It's Eddie, very important that... Big people talk. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> and who's the only one who knows when the clock's going to strike midnight? Innkeeper Fred? What a coincidence. It is a little strange, Clarice. Look. You think we haven't seen this kind of stunt pulled in the gravy industry? Well, we have. And I've got about half a month to take my family and my bags and head straight back down to my car. Dad, the bag's already headed down to the car. <laughs> what? If I didn't need it here, 
then why would I bring it here, you fruit loop? <laughs> Clarice, is this guy for real? As far as I know, sir, but you, you really didn't need all those things. What says who? Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let me guess. <laughs> Innkeeper Fred? That's right! <laughs> he is legendary. That's it! I demand to see him. You best start typing up a few resumes, pal. You are yesterday's gravy. What's that your laptop in there, honey? In my laptop. The quarterly gravy reports. <gasps> and your recipe files today? My recipe files, the secret to 31 astonishing gravy flavors tossed to the wind. And dude, I mean, Dad, your cell phone was in there too. My cell phone. <laughs> Hold on, Sally! Daddy's coming! <laughs> Um, I hope you're not waiting around for a tip. <laughs> <laughs>